Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264. You can also text at 741741. And for additional resources, reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988. You can text or call that number. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So happy Monday. Happy Memorial Day. I hope everyone is taking great care of themselves. And thank you for still hanging out on my channel. And, um, coming back to see what I have to say. I appreciate that. I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, as some of you may know that I went through a, a great loss here in uh, February. I found out about it. So thank you for your patience and understanding and kindness. So today I want to talk to you about holding on or walking away. When's the right time? So uh, the quick and short answer to that is uh, listening to spirit, which some may say that's your intuition, and some may not be sure when they're hearing uh, God's word or hearing his directions. Some of, us, some of us get lost in our head and get so confused to where we don't know what's up or down because um, you're confused by the relationship. And I understand that I've been right where you are now. So I just wanted to say that... Um, Here's the first thing that you want to think about. If um, the relationship is not physical abuse uh, to where you're hiding scars and um, you're too ashamed to tell because you're the man in the relationship and the woman is violent and having outbreaks and um, you can't share this with anyone. Um, so you don't see you're not going through any of that. So you don't see a reason to leave. You know, you have your disputes. Uh, there may be money issues. There may be um, times when this person talks down to you or make you feel a certain way. But uh, for the most part, you have a family and you don't see a reason to leave because like I said, there's no physical abuse. But I wanna um, bring to your attention that emotional and mental abuse is just as bad as physical abuse. You need to keep that in your head. So here's the thing. Um, sit down and think about it. Talk to God. You know, have a conversation, a real conversation about your relationship, you know, um, and whoever you believe in. You know, have a real conversation. Sit down and do a pros and cons list. And if you're cons list is as long as your pros list or even a little bit longer, then that's some time where you need to sit back and think, is it worth it? You know, a lot of people want to stay because um, there's a benefit to being in a relationship and this person is uh, making good money. You have everything you need financially. Um, you have friends, uh, family is looking at your life and thinking it's the best thing. Uh, but no one knows what you're going on, going through but you and this person and God. So uh, if that's the biggest problem and that's the biggest uh, cons on your list, then I would take it to God and definitely walk away from this. You know, don't sit into a relationship because everybody else think it is good, but you know the truth. You know, and then um, people have come to you that are not sleeping on this. They can see that this person is making you unhappy, even though you have the nice house, you have the nice cars, you both have good, decent jobs, but um, you're miserable. If you have children, they can see it and they're miserable too. So, um, you know, holding on for others whether it's your family, friends, or your children, because you want them to have a, a family that's a two household parent is the wrong decision to make. So don't hold on to something just because it looks good to, on the outside. You want something that it's just like uh, when you meet someone. Uh, if you meet someone and this person is very nice looking on the outside but has a horrible way they treat people and let's say it's not a relationship but it's a friendship um you quickly walk away from someone that's being mean to the homeless that's just being 
a real ruthless person to people, no matter how attractive they may be and how much knowledge they may seem to have. Uh, if their inside does not reflect their outside, you walk away. So you need to do the same thing in this relationship. This person may have um, been something that was pleasing to the eyes, but as time went along, you started to see the true person that this person is. So don't hold on to something just because others think that it looks good for you or and they wish they have it. You know, like people say... Uh, you never know what somebody is going through, especially when you're just on the outside looking in. Only you and God knows. And like I said at the beginning of this video, the best way to figure out if you should stay is to go to spirit. You know, have a real conversation. Ask God, is this what you have for my life? And if you give it time, he will speak to you. He'll let you know whether uh, this is something that this person is going through and um, this is not who this person really is. But you have to have a little common sense. You know, you have to use your free will here. You know that if you've been in this relationship for five years or six months or a year or 10 years, however long it's been, and things are not changing, and this person keep telling you that they're going to change, then um, let's use some common sense here and know that this is not the way it should be. Like I've said on many of my channel uh, videos, uh, you're not here to fix someone. That's not your job. Stay in your lane. You can't heal a broken heart. You can't fix it. That's God's uh, job. So if you know that you're in this relationship and things are going um, good for three months and then the next nine months is holy hell uh ask yourself is this the life that you want for yourself is this the plan that god had for you when he created you did he want you to go around and be miserable all the time i think not i don't believe that god created us to be miserable now do we go through things in our lives do we go through ups and downs sadness and loss yes but for the most part, it does not happen to you every day. So um, if you know that this is not what God had intended for you, then ask God to help you walk away safely. If you know someone that's going through this, please share this video. If you're going through it, watch it as many times as you need to. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And like I uh, said earlier, I really appreciate my subscribers. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch my videos and I will see you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.